All right, for science today, we're gonna read A Seed is Sleepy. We've been talking about the environment and what it needs, and so we're gonna talk some more about habitats this week, um, as well as what plants and animals need to live and survive. All right, here we go. A Seed is Sleepy. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower, on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug and still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring. But some take their time. 10 years might pass before the bright red-orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. I'm talking about this one. This is a Texas mountain laurel seed, and here's the pod. A seed is fruitful. 90% of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. Check out the strawberry, the papaya, barberry from Texas, blueberries, Indian almonds, a seed is naked. Who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of the redwood trees begin as seeds though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Yes, seeds are naked. Scientists call uh, Gynosperms, seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. Like in the pine cones. This is a 350 foot tall coast redwood tree. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mir palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. Here's an orchid, a coco de mer. A seed is adventurous. This is a Japanese maple leaf. A parachute of fine silky hairs can make a dandelion seed 100 miles from its parent plant. Wow, that's how far it can fly. It must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. 
It's an ear pod, a sea heart, a monkey ladder pod, a swamp palm. They have enough air inside to keep them float. And their thick protective shells keep out seawater. Here's a sea coconut, a hamburger bean, <laughs> a black palm, and a monkey comb. To find a spot to grow, a seed might leap from its pod, or cling to a child's shoestring, or tumble through a bean's belly. A seed hopes to land where there is plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. That's what it needs to grow. A seed is inventive. There's a red huckleberry, a cockleburr, a violet, A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant or embryo a seed coat to keep it warm. So this shows you the stages of a bean growing, rice, pumpkin, slash pine, and teak. So the bean takes five weeks, rice, four months, pumpkin, four months, pine, eight years, and teak, one year. The embryo first meal comes from its seed leaves, or cotyledons. Seeds with one seed leaf, like corn, are called monocots. Seeds with two seed leaves, like beans, are called dicots. So here's the shoot part, the root, the seed leaf, and here's the whole bean and the seed coat on that outside. Oh, sorry. The slash pine actually takes 15 years and the teak takes 100. Wow. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. Here's a date palm. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree after it was unearthed from a long ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel. A scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. Part of the seed, the root, feels the tug of gravity and dives down deep. See the roots here, they start to grow. Here's corn. This is a bean and here's corn. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light, so it reaches for the sun. A seed is clever. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plants, plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight. Light gives them the energy that they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, the gas in the air, into food. It knows to seek the sunlight to push itself up, up, up through the soil. But it must wait until before that happens. Here's a sunflower. A seed is sleepy, but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. 
pretty sunflowers. Here's some more seed and flowering plants. The end. Thank you for joining me for this story. There's a link to a video below about seeds and plants, and then there'll be a few books assigned to you on Epic, and the links will be below as, below as well. See you later.